Hey you guys, it's me, it's Abby, and I'm doing two book reviews today, because I'm in my car, and there's a guy in the car next to me eating Chinese food. Anywho, I just recently read two books, which I could favor completely. Um, the first one is If I Stay by Gail Foreman, and the second is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I have them on my ebook, but my ebook is not with me, so I'm sorry. Um... I'll do If I Stay First. So this was an absolutely amazing book and it's going to be turned into a movie with the Chloe Grace chick from um, Dark Shadows. And she was in something else that she was really good at. I like her. She's pretty good. It's hot. I think the only thing that concerned me though was the... in the book it was absolutely amazing but I wish it wouldn't have been... well she saw flashbacks as she was watching herself you know, come out of the coma, but I don't really, I don't know, there was just so much there that was unexplained, and I wish it would have been more explained, but I guess it might be in the sequel, I'm going to read the sequel where she went, I heard it was also as good as this one, but this one was absolutely amazing, and I've actually suggested it to all my friends, and I hope they read it, because if they don't, then I'll cry, but this was a really good book, I just feel like Gail could have put a lot more information in this one, because it's quite short actually on my ebook. I finished it in a night, I stayed up till 3 reading it, because it was absolutely amazing and I couldn't put it down. And that's the same, like, with, if, with books I like, I could sacrifice my sleep for them, which is like, wow, really? And I was just like, oh yeah. And so, you know. But I would give this book 4 to 5 stars, because... It was amazing, and I love the characters. They were, had such great personalities to Monarch, especially loved her little brother, Teddy, which... But, yeah, you don't always get what you want. Oh, well, I'll deal with it. I... The second book I read was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I loved this book. I want to read Eleanor and Park, so I'm hoping that I will be able to. Um... <laughs> Rainbow is an incredible writer, and I absolutely love this book. I actually could relate to this with the whole... She sits around writing fanfiction in her room all day. I don't do that, because I don't write fanfiction, but I enjoy reading some. And it was just, like, so funny to see how she put this into words and describing someone who was so similar to many other girls out there. Because, you know, some of us don't like social interaction, and I am one of those. So this was absolutely an amazing book. Um... I loved the character. It's just Ren really got on my nerves, and I just wanted to kill her, even at the end when they, you know, made up. I just hated her. But, you know, I liked Kath. Kath was just awesome, and I'm hoping to see that they make a movie out of this. This would be an absolutely amazing movie. I wonder who would play Kath. <laughs> Rebel Wilson. <laughs> It'd be a great movie, though, and I just really see it. And I really liked Levi, and I thought at first she was going to get it all with Nick, but she didn't. She got with Levi. Oh, my word. That boy is awesome, but he's just such a gentleman, and he works at Starbucks. Like, seriously. I want a guy that works at Starbucks, because I love Starbucks. Well, that was my review for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.